Do you have any information on the status of the two hostages, how they are health-wise, uh, physically? We saw some video of them, you know, by the Red Cross being led into an ambulance. They looked a little shaky. I can only confirm that they are now in Israel. They arrived at one of the hospitals here. I do not know anything about the status um, in which they arrived from Gaza. But as Ophir said, um, your previous guest, uh, we are very glad to see that they are in Israel. But we want to see all hostages out of Gaza. We want to see our sons and daughters back. We want to see the husbands of these two women back. They are. 83-year-old uh, and 85-year-old 80, men. Um, some children are being held in captivity there for 17 days now, Elizabeth. Um, this is unfathomable, what they have done to us. And uh, they will pay a very heavy price for that. We are also calling on the international community to back us in, to, to back us up in our demand that the Red Cross would pay a visit to examine the status of uh, more than 200 other hostages still in Gaza. How do how many of these? Do you have any intelligence at all on how many of these hostages are still alive? This is we're talking. It's more than two weeks now. Uh, that they've been captive in Gaza. They, the conditions are obviously dire and very, very bad. Um, do you have any idea how many of those 200 plus hostages are still alive? Well, we have this very careful assessment. So we know that the IDF had notified uh, about 220, 22, but now two are back. Uh, so uh, make the calculations. Um, families in Israel that they know that um, Hamas is holding their loved ones in captivity. But um, going back to your previous interview with John Kirby, we still know that nearly uh, between 100 and 200 people are unaccounted for. By unaccounted for, after 17 days, we mean it could be three things. Um, there could be held hostages. They, they could could be uh, deceased now, but their bodies are in Gaza, and they could be dead. But here in Israel, but we cannot identify them uh, because the bodies are beyond recognition. They burned people. They turned people into ashes. So it is very very tough to an impossible work for uh, forensic pathologists to try to identify right. some of these victims. I, I can't, that must be incredibly difficult work, but I must ask you, there are many in Israel who are critical of Netanyahu for failing to protect civilians in this terror attack. And there was another big protest in Israel today calling on Netanyahu to have his primary focus right now be on finding and releasing these hostages. That should be his number one priority, not a ground evasion and invasion and retribution. Is that his number one priority, getting these hostages out? So we have definitely two priorities. Uh, getting the hostages out is definitely one of them, but we can also no longer live next to an existential genocidal threat named Hamas. This is a decision that we took as a nation. Now, as for political discussions, you know Israel and you probably covered uh, what has happened here over the past year. Uh, we hold very fierce political debates, but right now the country is united with this goal of winning and dismantling Hamas, hitting them so hard that by the end of this operation, they will lack the military capabilities and the motivation to hurt us as they did on October 7th. Right, but you We know, cannot Tal. go back to October 6th. No, I know, Tal, but you do know that inside Israel, mm -hmm. There have been several protests from people demanding that getting the hostages back be the first priority before a ground invasion. That's what I'm asking you. We, we are making all kind of considerations right now. Our military breasts, our unity government, which is reflective of the unity among our people. Um, these are the ones, uh, these are the important people taking all the important uh, decisions right now when different parameters are being uh, uh, taken into account. Uh, once we decide to go into stage two, stage three of, of this mission to uh, crush, to dismantle Hamas, um, we will take all these parameters into account, of course. Uh -huh. And we also consult with American and international counterparts because, as we know, foreign nationals are also being held captive there. They are. All right. Tal Heinrich, thank you so much for being.